Good morning, guys. I woke up late this morning. It's 9.14 a.m. To me, that's late. I've also been scrolling on TikTok way too much to my brain is rotting every night because I've been really anxious and the way I deal with it is by scrolling. So as you can see, I wanted to have a reset day. So I thought, why not film a vlog where I get out of this rut? Because I don't want to enter 2024 with this energy. Just can't. I want to be having a fresh mind, fresh start, and not be frantically anxious all the time. Okay, let's go meditate. I'm using the Calm app. Let's do this. Welcome to this five minute meditation for calming anxiety. All right, so I just finished journaling. I feel a little bit better in meditating, but I'm looking around the place I'm staying in. I'm, by the way, I'm in Arizona for the holidays because my boyfriend's from here. But anyways, I'm looking at the house that we, like, we're renting and it's a mess and it's because this is the reflection of my state of mind. And they always say your surroundings, your room is the reflection of your mind. So we gotta clean this shit up. I'm gonna do some laundry and hopefully I'll feel a little bit more zen. I feel a little bit better now that I started laundry. I'm gonna go shower for a little bit because you need to. And one thing that goes when I'm really stressed or anxious is my physical appearance. Like I feel like I put less effort. I don't dress up. I don't shower. I don't do my skincare. So we're gonna take a bath. And this place I'm staying at has a sick bathtub and I'm gonna take advantage of it. That was, I don't like that. I don't know. I don't know why I was doing that. Thank you. I got a matcha green tea latte. It tastes really good. So I finished showering. Now I'm at the coffee shop because we're gonna spend some time doing our 2024 goals. And I like doing it at a coffee shop even though it's so freaking loud right now because it helps just kind of get me out of my ruckus. I'm gonna like journal a little bit, think about the next year and I'll share with you guys in a little bit. What are you doing? California Surf Club to open on Redondo Beach Surf Ride. What is this? Oh my god, what is this? So we're back from the coffee shop. It's actually a few days later. Don't kill me. I ended up journaling my 2024 goals and I can't wait to share with you the goals I have. If you guys are curious, every day I journal at least one full page in my journal. You guys know this. I do this on every video. And this year I kind of took that similar approach to my goal making. So I basically just wrote down all the things I want to achieve next year and I basically kind of go through this list and I select the top ones and transfer it into my iPad for a more established feel, if that makes sense. So I actually have have the brainstorm version of my goals here and I'm gonna transfer it with you guys together to my iPad. I don't know why going from physical to digital just seems very official to me um, and I like having multiple copies of my goals so I don't lose them. But anyways, let's just start off with my first category of goals. I have three total, which is my career. If you guys haven't seen my other video talking about my evaluation for 2023, I told you guys that I just felt like I was not that happy with my career this year for a bunch of different reasons. And I think also a part of the reason why I wasn't happy is because my goal setting for 2023 was really focused on results and not input. And I think that really hurt me because when I don't achieve my goals, it makes me feel bad. Versus this year, I really focused on making my goals more about input, making it about the effort versus the final result. Because naturally you'll get there, but I took a different approach this year and I can't wait to share it with you guys because I feel like this would be very helpful. So let's start this together. Okay, so 2024 goals. The first thing for my career is I really want to stay focused on surfing content and post three times a week on TikTok, twice a week on Instagram, and once a week on YouTube. This is the ratio I find the best results and the most growth on my channels. And I feel like last year I was actually too ambitious. I posted five times a week on TikTok and it actually hurt my account because I wasn't focusing on quality. This is something huge if you're a content creator. Like I just feel like sometimes we just, in the beginning, we need to post consistent, but we don't need to overdo it because there's already so much content on the internet. There's no point to put out content that's not meaningful to me. Like last month, I hit 5 million total views on TikTok and like 4 million, something like that on Instagram. And I think it's because I was more selective with my content versus, I don't know, like in January, February, I was posting like every day and 
I max got 100k views a month, like probably even less. So I think as I grow my business as a content creator, I need to evaluate my strategy and sometimes it's changing it. And I think what I'm feeling is less content but more quality for next year. We'll see. I always change my goals, so we will see. And I think that's important to adapt and stay flexible. But I really want to focus on putting quality content out for surfing. My next goal is to build a community reward product. So if you guys haven't seen already, I already started to put out my first community product, which is the Darmination Journals, which I'm so proud of. I designed this by myself, and I know some of you guys already purchased them, so thank you so much. If you guys haven't seen every purchase of a Darmination Journal, you get added to a Discord community where we do hangouts, calls, we chat, and it's just a more intimate community, and I really just want to make not only these journals, but just that Discord community a priority for me next year because I want to give away some really cool things in that community. So. If you haven't already, please support me by picking up a Darmination.com journal. You can just go to Darmination.com. It's a hardcover journal designed by Gersh Trilly, and the paper is very thick, so you can use a pen. I always use this pen, by the way. If you guys are curious, this is from Unistream. It's the best pen ever. It's a Japanese pen. I Sorry, I'm here to promote my journal. I really want to make this a focus for next year, so building out my community product will be a huge thing for next year as well. I actually went ahead and made a vision board for next year. You guys can see here, uh, a part of my goals is to work with a car brand. I want to work with really dope surfing and snowboarding brands, like with the goggles, helmet, and I just love surfing and snowboarding, so if I can work with the brands I already use, that would be amazing. I'm really manifesting a car deal, okay? Like, I really want to be sponsored by a car deal, so bad. So those are kind of like my goals for next year, career-wise. I kept it to three. Even though when I journaled, I actually wrote down five, I just feel like three is a lot more focused and intentional. Beyond three, I feel like there's less of priority. So let's go into my next category of goals. Now that we finish talking about my career, I want to share my self-growth goals. Okay, so for self-growth goals, I feel like this category is also kind of in line with my spirituality. I told you guys in my last video that I really want to focus on my spirituality, but I didn't know how to implement it, and as I was thinking and reflecting, I find I'm the most spiritual and in tune to my purpose when I'm growing in my personal journey, if that makes sense. And for me, I find that happens the most often when I surf and snowboard, because when you're surfing, you're kind of like learning through nature and learning through doing. I know this sounds so silly, but... Like, for example, when I was in Portugal at a surf camp, I learned way more in that week about myself, about patience, resilience, business, than a whole month of making content. Like, I don't know what it is, but surfing and doing stuff in these extreme sports helps me grow as a person and be more spiritual. So, I actually changed my spirituality goals. Initially, it was like to meditate, which I still want to do. But now it's just all about improving my skill set as a surfer. So I wrote down I want to learn how to cut back, which is this maneuver. Currently I'm doing something like this, which is kind of a cutback. It's more of a turn, but I really want to be able to go. Whoosh. I also want to surf in big waves. I'm talking six, seven, eight feet. I really want to be able to be comfortable in those chaotic environments. I know I'm. my parents are going to be like, what the fuck, Jane? I just want to push myself because that's how I grow and learn. All right, next for snowboarding, I want to learn how to Euro carve. This is a maneuver that basically is when you're turning on a snowboard, you kind of go all the way down and you put your hands out. It's really tough. I even tried it this weekend when I was snowboarding and it was just like, it's so much core, it's so much strength, but I really want to be able to nail it. And I want to learn also how to hit the jumps at the snowboard park. My parents are going to kill me. Too. I told myself that I wouldn't do jumps because it's so, you're so likely to injure yourself, but I just feel like, like I said, like I learned so much by pushing myself in these physical aspects and I make content about it, which you guys seem to like. So why not? I want to fucking shred next year, okay? All right, so my last category of goals is daily routine goals. These are goals that I want to implement every day. And I just find that these are the goals that make me the most happy. So if I do these every day, I will be content. And I also told you guys in my last video, I just felt like I was not socializing enough, I didn't have enough friends, and I think this goes into not doing my daily routine, which goes into my first goal for next year, which is to hang with friends and talk to someone every day. Because I just find that when I'm isolated and sometimes I need a full recharge day, but when I'm fully isolated, I'm not talking to anyone, like even just calling a friend, texting anyone, I'm just the most unfulfilled. And just hanging out with friends, I know that sounds like a weird goal to like hang out with friends once a week, talk to someone every day, whether it's my boyfriend or you guys or just like someone. Like I just think it's important to 
be with people that you love. And I think it's also important to be selective with who you hang out with. I think a lot of the times I hung out with like really shitty people when I was younger <laughs> that didn't serve me. So I wanna hang out. I wrote down like hang with good company every day. And if I can't hang, just talk. Cause I think occasionally I'll need like a reset day, but I just think it's so important to just hang with good company. My next goal is to meditate daily five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is, I actually really, really want to build a meditation area on my rooftop of the apartment I live at because I have this beautiful ocean viewing space and I don't put effort into the space at all. So I want to meditate daily and I think by building that space, I can achieve that. My third goal is to read before bed instead of scrolling. This one's hard, okay? Like I scroll my phone before bed on TikTok, usually for 15 minutes and I love that time, but the thing is, it's never just 15 minutes. It's always an hour, an hour and a half. And it's so bad because before bed, your brain is more likely to not turn off. And I struggle with sleeping sometimes consistently. So I really, by the way, I just realized I was talking with my hands this entire time. I'm sorry if that's annoying, but I just want to read before bed. And I love reading. I used to only read like nonfiction books, but now I read fiction books. So I just want to read anything before bed. And my last daily routine goal is to surf every day. I know that sounds crazy, but I just want to surf and train every day. If I'm not surfing, I want to train. If I'm not training, I want to surf. And it's just because, like I said, like I find that I'm the most jade when I'm in the water and it just makes me so happy. Okay, so those are my 2024 goals. I hope you guys like this. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get scared about my goals because I don't know if I'm going to hit it or not. But I, what I like about these goals is, is all about not the outcome, it's about the effort. Like, I don't think any of these goals is focused on vanity metrics, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just focusing on the daily thing, so I'm actually less scared this year, and I really encourage you guys, if you haven't already, and if you're scared to make 2024 goals, try to focus on input, not output. It'll make you happier, it's a lot less intimidating, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like and comment, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Check out DermaNation.com if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!